Okay, our frequency's popped up. Let's say we want our period as well. Okay, so they're all appearing in this window down here, so you lose a bit of your uh, screen down there. I wonder if you turn the menu off. No, see. Ah, uh, there we go. Turn the menu off. Great. I was hoping that would happen. I was hoping to expect to see those measurements that were on the display window before to jump outside the display window. Excellent. I like that. I really like it. Transparent menus up here. Not bad at all. So, I think the measurement capability in this thing looks quite impressive. Source, and you can uh, take the measurements from the map as well. Very handy. Okay, so you can get two different, you set up two different sources for your measurements, and then you can get statistics. We should be able to get our statistics. There we go, and if we turn our menus off, ah, oh, our statistics vanish. Gee, thanks for that. There we go. You have to turn that on to see your uh, statistics there. Mean, min, max, standard deviation. Okay, excellent. So the measurement capability on this thing, pretty good. One thing I don't particularly like is that the waveform intensity, um, you can change it between colour and grayscale. Look at colour. Colour looks awful. That looks like a oh, cartoon gimmicky, like sort of, you know, um, you know, 8-bit 1980s colour or something like that. That looks pretty awful. Waveform, grayscale and colour, intensity, okay. So, waveform intensity, it doesn't have its own dedicated control on the front panel. I don't like that. I like being able to have a dedicated um, intensity knob. Okay, so you can change your reticule, there it is. I'm assuming you can change your reticule between dots and lines. Yeah, uh, no, dot and vector mode for the waveforms. So there we go, we have dot mode. Oh, we have, we have dot mode, we're in dot mode, but we don't need dot mode. Look, I'm expecting to see dots there. Why? Why aren't I getting my dots? Give me a break. Anyway, we can change our persistence time. Yeah. 16 milliseconds, there we go. We can 8 seconds. Whoa. Okay, so we can set almost infinite persistence. Oh no, there we go. Okay, what have we got here? Off. I assume that's going to affect the uh, waveform update rate as well, but because we don't have a trigger out uh, option on this thing, we can't measure the waveform update rate. So, uh, I'm, I'm not really digging the user interface on this thing. It's a bit quirky. I guess you'd get used to it. I mean, it's not... I don't think it's the worst I've seen. Uh, it's certainly not a LaCroix bad. Uh, <laughs> your old school LaCroix bad, that's for sure. But look at that. Dots and vectors. Like, okay. I can see some dots in there. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, you can probably see that on that uh, HD. Let me uh, change the horizontal position. Oh, that horizontal position's a bit jumpy. A bit, a bit jumpy. But yeah, you can see the dots in there. So we are in dot mode. But then, look at that. It seems to have changed over to vectors when we go up, when we increase our horizontal. I, that's, that's, that's crazy. So look, there's dots there, you can see them. I expect when I expand that horizontal time base out, we're at five nanoseconds per division, we can still see the dots, but then it goes to vectors. Why? If I'm on dot mode, if I put it on dot mode, I want my bloody dots. Damn it. Anyway, I don't like that the cursors are the same colour as uh, one of the waveforms. I look at the main person's different colour there. And by the way, the uh, fan noise on this thing, a little bit loud, a little bit distracting. It's uh, certainly loud, it's sort of got that uh, sort of, you know, noisy ball bearing kind of uh, sound to it. It's certainly louder than the Rigol 2000 and louder than the Agilent. The Agilent one's reasonably loud, but it's a nice, smoother, more calming sound. I'm not sure if I can get it. Hang on. Let's try and... Sure if it changes the temperature or not, but it's you know it's not. I wouldn't say it's loud, but it's not quiet. That's for sure. So a little bit distracting. It's very quiet here today. There's no. It's on the weekend here, um, so there's no other often noise from other offices. No uh, noise from the air comms next door. And I can certainly hear that being sort of like the only instrument on here at the moment. So 
little bit distracting. And this is rather nice. You go